Hello friends, welcome to Science Land. I'm Nikita and today we are going to talk about advantages and disadvantages of edible vaccine. But before starting the video, please subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Let's start. First, we are going to talk about the advantages of edible vaccine. It is effective as delivery vehicle. Why? Because it doesn't have or it doesn't require adjuvants. What are adjuvants? Uh, these are substances which enhance the immune response. Adjuvants are normally used in traditional vaccines. Second, they are subunit vaccines, no attenuated pathogens. Now, edible vaccines uses an antigen gene and it will produce protein, but this protein will never revert back to its infectious form meaning it will never cause the disease contrary if i use the attenuated pathogen there are chances of that pathogen which is attenuated or weakened it might revert back to its infectious form so basically edible vaccines improves the safety of individual third they elicit mucosal immunity, uh, which the traditional vaccines don't. So that's an advantage. Fourth, they are cost effective in availability, storage, preparation, production and transportation. Like for example, storing of edible vaccines. They need not be stored at 4 degrees Celsius. They can be stored at room temperature, which is 37 degrees Celsius. Transportation. The traditional vaccines require cold supply chain to be transported from one place to another, but edible vaccines don't require that. So, overall, these factors reduces the cost. Next, the seeds of transgenic plants can be dried and used further. So, once you integrate an antigen gene in the plant genome and if that plant is producing uh, seeds, then you can store these seeds, dry them and use them whenever you want to produce the next batch of that particular edible vaccine. The manufacturing cost is low. Why? Because no special premises is required for the production of edible vaccine. Next can be produced easily at mass level because the production is in plants it can be easily produced at mass level as compared to uh, the vaccinations which are made in animal cell culture next don't require administration by injection now edible vaccines are administered orally no injection is used so that's an advantage besides there is the reduced use of healthcare professionals and the risk of contamination is low because the syringes are not used next advantage can be multi-component vaccine now these are uh, vaccines wherein you have more than one component more than one antigen basically let's say i'm making an edible vaccine i'll take the antigen gene from the tetanus and i'll take the antigen gene from let's say cholera and both the antigen genes are incorporated in the same plant which would give rise to the protein but this protein has dual components two antigens in one vaccine that's why multi-component vaccine now these are also known as second generation vaccines. Why? Because the normal first generation vaccines have one antigen which approach the M cells one at a time. But these second generation vaccines, they are like two antigens and they approach the M cells simultaneously. What are M cells? You can check the video in the link or somewhere in the card. Uh, I have explained entire mechanism of M cells you'll understand it better. Next, the separation and the purification is easy. Once the product or the vaccine is produced in plants, that needs to be separated and purified, which is easy. Next, pathogenic contamination can be prevented. Now, because it's plant, there is no risk of, you know, contamination. The pathogenic contamination from animal cells that can be prevented. On the other hand, whenever the traditional vaccines are produced on animal cell culture, there is the risk of contamination. So these are the advantages 
Okay, so now let's talk about the disadvantages of edible vaccine. The very first one is can develop immunotolerance. Now, because edible vaccines are produced in plants, an individual can develop immunotolerance against a peptide or a protein. That is a disadvantage. Next one, the consistency of the dosage varies from plant to plant and generation to generation. Also, the protein content varies from plant to plant and generation to generation. Now, these two factors you cannot control because plants are the bio manufacturers. So, there would be a little difference in one batch of vaccine in terms of consistency and protein content. Third, the ripeness also affects the protein that are present in the form of antigen in the fruits. Now, fruits ripen quickly. The ripeness can affect the protein. Essentially, it can change the effectiveness of that particular vaccine. Next, there are limitations of methods for standardization of plant materials. Now, you know, in normal protocols to produce a vaccine, there is the standardization of a particular protocol. Here, because different plant materials are used, we need to do a lot of research, you know, with tobacco plant, this might be a particular protocol. With different plant, there might be different protocols. So, the standardization of plant material, like let's make one standard protocol for plants, that is not possible. Next, the stability of vaccine differs from plant to plant. Now, because every generation of plant is different, so the stability of vaccine will be different. Next, some foods cannot be eaten raw because it is not eaten raw. You will cook it and cooking will lead to denaturation of the antigen or it will weaken the protein which is present. So, that is a very big disadvantage. And the last one, which is the most important, I feel, distinguishing the fruit from the vaccine. Now, edible vaccine is in a plant material. But normally also, people will consume that particular plant. So, how are you going to distinguish between the actual fruit or the vegetable and between the, you know, the vaccine fruit or the vaccine vegetable? If there are no clear identifying characters between both, that might lead to maladministration of the vaccine and further that can lead to tolerance. So, these are the disadvantages of edible vaccine. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.